Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Good afternoon and uh, welcome to this new video. This video is based on the indirect utility function. Uh, let me start with the introduction of the indirect utility function. The maximum utility level that a consumer can achieve expressed as a function of prices in income is known as the indirect utility function. For example, if we consider a consumer choosing the quantities x1 and x2 of the two goods to maximize utility subject to a budget constraint, then the utility maximization problem is the solution uh, is uh, described by the two Marshallian demand functions, uh, where x1 is the function of price of uh, good 1, price of good 2 and income. Similarly, x2 is uh, also a Marshallian demand curve for uh, good 2 which is a function of price of good 1, price of good 2 and uh, income of the consumer. If we substitute the optimal choices x1, x2 back into the utility function, it will give rise to the maximized level of uh, utility as follows, where uh, function v uh, is a function of price of good 1, price of good 2 and income and that is equal to uh, utility function uh, by substituting the optimal choices of the two Marshallian demand uh, functions x1 and x2. So, v as a function of price of 1, price of 2 and uh, income level y is the indirect utility function of the consumer. And so, the function v function of price of 1, price of 2 and income is the indirect utility function. In order to further, further explain this, uh, let us think that the ordinary utility function u of x is defined over the consumption set x such that it represents the consumer's preferences directly. It is therefore referred to as the direct utility function. Given the vector of prices of the goods and the income of the consumer, the consumer chooses a utility maximizing bundle given by x as a function of the prices vector and income of the consumer. So, the level of the utility achieved when the uh, maximizing bundle is chosen thus will be the highest uh, level permitted by the consumer's budget constraint facing the prices vector p and uh, income fixed money income y. Different prices and incomes giving different budget constraints will generally give rise to different choices by the consumer and so to different levels of the maximized utility. The relationship among prices, income and the maximized value of utility can be summarized by a real value function as follows. Uh, where the indirect utility function v in a non-negative R tent uh, is a real value function which is defined as follows. The function V uh, depends on uh, prices vector and uh, income is called the indirect utility function. And uh, this is the uh, indirect utility function where we maximize utility uh, based on X is in the non-negative R tent subject to the budget constraint. Furthermore, a consumer's indirect utility function is a function of prices and goods and the consumer's income or budget. The function is typically denoted by V of uh, P, Y where P is the vector of prices uh, for goods and Y is the budget uh, presented in the same units as uh, the prices. This is again the definition of the indirect utility function which takes the value of the maximum utility that can be achieved by spending the budget Y on uh, the consumption goods with the uh, prices of uh, vector p, vector of prices p. Thus, a consumer's indirect utility function gives the consumer's maximum or maximal attainable utility when faced with the vector p of uh, goods prices and n our uh, amount of uh, income y. It reflects both the consumer preferences and the market conditions. This function is uh, termed indirect because consumers generally consider their uh, preferences in terms of what they consume rather than prices. 
A consumer's indirect utility can be computed from his or her utility function defined over vector x of quantities of consumable goods by first computing the most preferred affordable bundle represented by the vector x uh, by solving the utility maximizing problem and second computing the utility uh, u of x of uh, p and y the consumer derives the uh, from that bundle the resulting indirect utility function is uh, equal to u of x where x is a function of uh, vector p of uh, prices of goods and services and the income of the consumer so the maximum level of utility that can be achieved when facing prices and uh, income y therefore will be that which is realized when uh, the utility maximizing bundle is uh, chosen so you geometrically we can think of the indirect uh, indirect utility function as v function of uh, the prices vector and uh, income of the consumer is given the utility level of the highest in different curves the consumer can reach given prices p and income y and this is illustrated in the below figure now there are three in different curves and uh, this is the budget line the horizontal uh, uh, intercept is uh, defined as y divided by p1 and the vertical intercept is defined by y divided by p2 and uh, this bundle which is the utility maximizing uh, is a function of uh, the vector of prices and income of the consumer and here the slope of the indifference curve and slope of the budget line are equal so this is uh, this gives us the indirect utility function given by v of uh, vector uh, of p prices and uh, income of the consumer Uh, there are some properties of the indirect utility function uh, if utility function x is continuous and uh, strictly increasing on um, r tend to r euclidean space then the indirect utility function defined in the previous slide is uh, given by uh, the number one property or uh, the first property is it is continuous on uh, uh, the non negative uh, euclidean space Uh, it's homogeneous of degree zero in uh, prices and uh, y. It means that uh, if you increase both prices and uh, income, then uh, there is no difference in the consumer equilibrium. Uh, uh, this uh, indirect utility function is increasing in y and it is decreasing in p prices, and it, it is quasi convex in prices and uh, income of the consumer. moreover it satisfies the roy's identity if indirect utility function is differentiable at p not and y not and partial of uh, the indirect utility function at p not and y not with respect to y is not equal to 0 then uh, this uh, is the uh, demand function uh, for uh, uh, x uh, i as a function of uh, p not y not and that is equal to the negative of the partial derivative of uh, the indirect utility function with respect to p i divided by the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income this says that uh, the consumers marginal and demand for good i is simply the ratio of the partial derivatives derivatives of the indirect utility uh, with respect to p i that is price of the i good and income after a sign change Uh, we can derive in uh, derive indirect utility function uh, from uh, the utility function which is uh, given as a uh, uh, utility function is given by uh, x raised to the x raised to 0.5 and uh, y raised to 0.5 and the consumer wants to maximize his or her utility subject to the budget constraint price of x plus price of y equals uh, budget uh, where uh, m is the uh, budget that is not i that is m so it should be read as m m is the consumer fixed money income uh, we could solve this by setting uh, the lagrangian expression and the lagrangian function is given by x to the power 0.5 y to the power 0.5 plus lambda uh, m minus price of x times uh, x plus price of y times y and uh, if we solve this uh, lagrangian function we take partial derivative with respect to price of x price of y and lambda and we if we 
simultaneously uh, solve these three equations then the uh, this is the uh, optimum choice for x1 and that is equal to m divided by 2 px that is the Marshallian demand for uh, x and uh, this is the Marshallian demand for y which is uh, equal to m and uh, price of y. Uh, so this means that the Marshallian demand uh, is uh, positively related to the income of the consumer but it is negatively related to its own price. So now if we substitute these two Marshallian demand function back into the utility function in this function then it gives us maximum utility given by this and uh, if we solve this then we get that uh, this utility uh, function is now equal to m divided by 2 uh, price of x raised to the power 0 0.5 and uh, price of y raised to the power 0 0.5 also thus the indirect utility function is derived as uh, v which is a function of the prices and uh, money income and that is equal to m divided by 2 price of x raised to the power 0 0.5 and price of y raised to the power, uh, uh, power 0 0.5 so this is how we can derive indirect utility function from the uh, utility uh, function subject to version constant and after deriving the Marshallian demand curve Marshallian demand functions we substitute these functions back into the utility function and we solve for the utility so this is indirect utility function Ladies and gentlemen, this is very interesting and uh, informative. I hope you like this. Uh, kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get uh, regular notification about my other videos that will be uploaded for you. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Kindly share various videos of this channel in various WhatsApp groups so that these could reach to the maximum possible number of people. Thanks for uh, watching this.